with Maluma at LA 3C, man. It's all about LA culture here. Yeah. Tell me about, you You tour so many Spanish-speaking countries. Yeah, How's yeah. it to come to LA and get that part of Latin culture? I love LA, man. For me, I always say that my favorite city in the United States is Los Angeles. Yeah, I'd uh, like to hear that. Yeah, for real. I wanted to move here actually one time, like like a couple of years ago, because I really enjoyed the the, the vibe in the city. You know, like different cultures, not not only Latino actually, like people from Asia, you know, from Africa. So you have like all these multicultural uh, moments here in in Los Angeles. So that's why I really love it. But of course, I love being Latino and coming here. I feel like like at home. You know, there's a bunch of Latinos here, and and I feel proud of it. Now let's talk about the World Cup. Who yeah. are you rooting for? Hmm, man, I would say <clears throat> Argentina. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, you, you know. You got a message for Messi? Yeah, that's the thing, bro. The thing is that I'm close to, to Leo Messi, so oh, we, we're friends, and, and, and he really deserves winning the, the World Cup, you know? For me, he's one of the greatest soccer players in the history, so, so yeah, I would say, like, Messi and the whole Argentina te team, they deserve also uh, taking the World Cup. <laughs> And how was it to record a song for the World Cup? Man, that's an amazing collaboration. And I heard you might be performing it at The Voice. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's so amazing. Tukutaka came to my life in a beautiful moment. I really wanted to go to, to Qatar, man. I really wanted to represent my culture because you know that Colombia, the Colombia soccer team, we, we couldn't make it to the World Cup. So for me, it was like very important to just go there and, and, and create this impact because my team couldn't couldn't make it. So I really wanted to go there, you know, face. Represent. Yeah, represent my, my culture. And, and yeah, man, Tukutaka with Nicki Minaj and, and Miriam Ferris, this is still growing like crazy. Numbers are yeah. going up like crazy, like it's crazy. A yeah. It's a, it's a big, big, big song, man, and and, and I, I'm really enjoying this moment in my life and my career. Nice, and what can we expect next from you in your career? Well, bro, I'm working I mean, my new album. you got the album. album. I know you got clothes. You got a liquor yeah. brand. I mean, what, what yeah. can Luma do? Me, mezcal Contra Luz, you already it know. It tastes good, I promise you. <laughs> mezcal Contra Luz, you already know. We're warming up before the show, the LA3C, you already know. <laughs> so. yeah. What's your drink of choice? A Negroni. I was going to say the same thing. Pagliato. Mm. With Prosecco in it. Oh, stunning. Yeah. I'm working like crazy. I'm doing a bunch of stuff. I'm, I'm creating my companies. I'm, I'm working in new music. I'm very inspired right now. I feel very motivated right now in my life. I feel like 2023 is a very important year in my life and my career because I have so many big plans for, for next year that I know is like the right time to, to make it happen. Thank you, man. Well, I hope it all happens for you. I'm such a big fan. Can't wait to Thank see you, you out there bro. tonight. Thank you, bro. Enjoy it, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you.